All right, welcome back to SBR Video, and we are back to continue our look forward to the 2015 NFL season with Ross Benjamin on the docket today, the New York Giants. Winners of just six games in a very disappointing 2014 campaign. Their win total has been set at eight and a half for 2015. Now, before we get into our predictions there, I want to touch on what this team has done this season to get better or worse. Their offense last year was very, very average across the board. Good news, Manning starting to really settle into that McAdoo offense, I think. I look for this to continue this season, especially if Cruz can come back healthy and Vereen gives them a respectable running game. Well, yeah, I think at the offensive skill positions, they're very solid. Uh, and you would think that Eli Manning would be much more comfortable in the second year under Ben McAdoo's offensive system. Uh, he's got to eliminate some of the stupid interceptions he threw a season ago that just look uncharacteristic from his standpoint. And uh, we got to put this into perspective. This is a Giants team not only went 6-10 and 10 last year, they've gone to combine 22-26 and 26 the last three seasons since winning the Super Bowl in 2013 over New England. So they got some ground to make up, Matt. Absolutely. Let's hope they can get that done. You know, they had, like I said, a very good offense, especially through the air last season, but a couple injuries here and there. Things might go a little south. Now, taking a look to the, or excuse me, the defense, last year the Giants were actually uncharacteristically quite awful on defense, and this likely led them to bring back Steve Spagnuolo, a move which I really love. Now, they lost a bit of a backfield in uh, losing Rawl and Brown, but picked up Landon Collins and drafted Thompson in the second. Problem is, in my opinion, that's not really an upgrade over a team that ranked 18th in passing defense last year. Even worse, running defense ranked 30th. They've added some depth at linebacker, but tough to know what to expect after this squad, to be honest with you, Ross. Well, I like their cornerback tandem, you know, uh, at Prince of Makamura, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, and uh, also Dominic Rogers cromartie should provide them with some stability at the corner position. However, like you just touched upon, I'm concerned that with their inexperience at the safety position, then you have the uh, debacle surrounding Jason Pierre-Paul, who was all set to lock up a huge contract, and he decides to blow his finger off on July 4th. And uh, who knows what we're going to get from him. And then you mentioned as well Victor, Victor Cruz. Um, how he responds and comes back from that devastating knee injury that saw him miss the last 10 games of last season due to that is, is going to be a big key. I mean, we know what Odell Beckham can do. Reuben Randall is a very serviceable third receiver, uh, but without Victor Cruz in the mix, uh, they become very defendable on the outside. So we'll see what happens there. A lot of question marks for me in regards to the Giants in this upcoming season, Matt. All right, well, I think that's going to lead us into our next uh, point here, or your next point here with all those question marks. After taking in everything to consideration, for myself personally, I'm leaning to the Giants to win nine this year. And i got to say it's a pretty small lean. I don't see this defense being as bad as they were last year. And if the offense can pick it up even just a little bit in their second year with McAdoo, I think their nine game is very doable. Well, uh, you certainly can make a strong case for not only them exceeding eight and a half wins or even eight at a couple of the sports books. But, you know, you also can make a case that they may be a playoff contender. On the other hand, there's just too many question marks for me uh, to place any faith in either of those possibilities transpiring. Their schedule is certainly doable. I mean, you look at the fact that they're only going to be facing three teams this season that qualified for the playoffs a season ago, and one of those was the Carolina uh, Panthers, who ended up 7-8-1 and one and won the NFC South by default. But I don't know. I, I just look at the rest of the schedule. There's some teams that underachieved a season ago that I personally feel are going to be on the up in 2015, and I just don't like the Giants going uh, nine wins or more. I'm going to have a small lean here on going eight and under eight and a half wins. And you can find that at the majority of sports books. As I alluded to, there's a couple that have them at eight wins. If you're going to follow me on the eight and a half, certainly go uh, and search your, your lines in that regard. It's always good advice for us to, you know, shop those lines, guys, you know. And as far as this is concerned with the Giants, just I think they have a little higher ceiling than though some people think, and I wouldn't be surprised too much either way, to be honest with you. Um, also, I should point out that I am a Giants fan, so maybe that extra half a game, 
you know, maybe, maybe coming into play a little bit, but I tried not to think that way. Uh, Ross says the under. Uh, again, I like the over, but we'll just have to see how the season goes. In any event, we will be back again next week to take a look at another team's future outlook for the 2015 season. So make sure you keep an eye on that right here at SBRvideo.com.